Assalamualaikum. My name is Fidaus Luqman Hakim B. Zairul Syam. My student ID 2020 Hi, my name is Nusha Damiti Zahari. My matrix number is 2020818754. Hi, my name is Nur Faiza Atira binti Muhammad Kamal. My matrix number 2020626134. Hi, my name is Nurul Najah Safia binti Mak Anwar. My matrix number is 2020607338. Hello, my name is Ummu Atira binti Abdul Hamid. My matrix number is Nestle is the world's largest food and beverage company. It began in 1860 and now has a presence in the nearly every country on the planet. About a quarter of a million people from 70 different countries work in the industry. Henry Nestle, the company founder, established the very first Nestle logo in 1868. It means nest in German and related to a nest and the feeding of the young birds. It has been the headquarters of production for a variety of meat-based products since the early 1800s. Nestle has approximately 2,000 brands in which it's owned and sells in 197 countries across the world. Nestle has grown from its Swiss-German origin in Warsaw cereal in the 19th century to become one of the world's largest most powerful industrial organization Who is the target market? Nestle are focused on someone who want to be complete in their lives and surroundings. It was called as N H W lasers. They are also perfectionists who aim for the ideal family, joy, and life. What is the segmentation basis that Nestle apply? First, psychography. For example, lifestyle and personality. Nestle provides KitKat for people who really want to taste and enjoy chocolate. Second, demography. Nestle divided the market for its main products into generations. For example, Cerulite, Lactogen, and Cocoa Crunch. Nestle segmented the market by newborn babies and kids of various ages. Strategies for selecting targeting markets. Nestle chose undifferentiated targeting as well. They have variety of products for different ages groups occupations, seasons, and weather in Malaysia. Next is product. First, significance of the product to the consumer and market. Nestle product is important to the consumers and the market because it is non-durable goods. The Nestle product is a tangible goods. They are typically used once or twice. It's also easy to 
consume and buy on a regular basis. Next, this product is in high demand everywhere. There are many products produced by Nestle, especially Miss Cafe and Maggi. Other than that, types of consumer products. A consumer product is one that is purchased to fulfill a person's personal desire. The type of consumer product for our import, which is Nestle product, is convenience product. Consumers are most likely to purchase convenience product, which is convenience products are frequently low cost, undifferentiated from other products, and placed in settings where customers may buy them easily. The category for Nestle product is impulse product, which is purchased without any planning or search effort, such as Maggi, Nescafe, and more. Next, specification of the product. Here are the specification of Nestle product. Every food has their own benefits and function. Maggi contains vitamin A, which can help in our body's natural defense against illness, and the immune system can work properly. Next, the benefits and functions of Nescafe is it can increase the metabolism and, and change our energy levels. Food and beverage are using the expired date term, not a warranty period term. The expired date of Maggi is based on the date of the production. It's advisable to use it within 9 months after the date of production. The date of manufacture is marked on the back side of the package. The best way to tell if it has expired is to use your nose. If Nescafe has expired, the pleasant aroma will be gone and the taste are also will be gone. This is the product of Nescafe, such as Nescafe Latte, Nescafe Gold, and many more. And this is the type of Maggi product like Maggi Pedas Gila, Maggi Cukup Rasa, and others. This is the labeling of Nescafe and Maggi product. Positioning strategy are divided by seven aspects. The aspects are product attribute, benefit offers, usage or application, competitors, price and quality, product users and product class. So I will explain the customer's review based on these seven aspects. Let's start with the Nescafe product. Well, like it's sort of a sort of marshmallowy sweetness to this one. No, I don't really like it, I can't stop it in taste. Then I will show one of the reviews from customers who first time tasted Maggi instant noodles. I don't really eat curry, but this tastes good. I don't even know if you've had like you've had Thai curry. curry because Thai curry has coconut. Mm -hmm. This like does coconut. not have coconut. <laughs> coconut is sweet and this is spicy. It's definitely getting spicier. Based on the two video clips, we found that there are many opinions about the taste of Nescafe and Maggi products. What can be concluded is that customer tastes are subjective and different. Therefore, Nestle tries to produce products with various types of flavors to fulfill customer demand. This is the Nescafe trademark. In 1938, the original Nescafe logo was created which included a street beach text on a brown background. In 1953, the logo was slightly altered and the color palette was changed to monochrome. The Nescafe logo was redesigned in 2014, giving it a new fresh look. The type was a basic sun serif in a red and red shape. Julius Maggie, who took over his father's mill in Switzerland, in 1884, designed the logo. The new logo is basic, but it has a greater meaning. It has a red drop form with a yellow red drop and the capital letters inside square with a blurry background. There are two types of marketing channels that are used by the Nestle company. First is retailer channel. This channel is started from the producer to retailers and lastly to the consumer. Retailer is a channel intermediary that sells mainly to the consumer. 
For the example, are 7 Eleven and 99 Speedman. Second is World Seller Channel. This channel is started from the producer to the wholesaler to retailer and lastly to the consumer. Nestle is an institution that buys goods from the manufacturers, take title to goods, store them in resales, and ships them. Levels of distribution intensity is a method of distribution that aims to make a product available in every store. It's about a distribution of low cost or compulsive goods. Nestle has announced the launch of new Maggi instant noodles types in Malaysia. Nestle used a distribution technique known as a fast moving consumer goods FMCG which involves fracturing the volume. They have also released a product in partnership with an online marketplace retailer. They have two tools that apply such as advertising. In advertising, they have two types of advertising media. First is using traditional advertising media like radio, television, and billboard. Next is using electronic advertising media, which is internet and interactive video. Second is sales promotion. In sales promotion, Nestle was used a strip tag. For example, Nestle pay do a praduan jombeli dan raikan bersama to bring the festive spirit during Ramadan and gawai keamatan. Other than that, Nescafe ready to drink also offers Nescafe minum dan menang. For the Maggi product, they did peraduan hayati keberkatan sajikan kemeriahan bersama Maggi during Ramadan and Aidil Fitri and also sajian dikongsi kebahagiaan dirai for Chinese New Year. For Nescafe product, the tagline is it all start with a Nescafe. Nescafe has created a contest to illustrate their slogan. Nescafe wants to provide to consumer with a coffee which is not just the nicest but also provides an experience beyond coffee and an inspirational sense of perspective. For the menu product is happiness is homemade. Happiness may be provided through dishes, tasting, balances, and home to cook me. Maggie aims to provide assistance to busy persons, mainly working women, with little time to prepare nourishing meals to their family. It's always easy to prepare a healthy meal for the whole family with the help of Maggie in the kitchen. These are some of samples of printed advertisement like YouTube advertisement and television advertisement. Pricing objective, significance of pricing objective to the product. Nestle has been using the profit-oriented objectives as their pricing objective to survive in today's highly competitive marketplace. It has included profit maximization, satisfactory profits, and target return on investment in this objective. Factors that influence Nestle company in choosing this objective related to First, profit maximization Nestle will make sure that they have set the prices so that total revenue is as large as possible relative to total cost Number 2, satisfactory profits They are also will maintain their reasonable level of profits which means they have to consistent with level of risk and organization phases and number three target return on investment Nestle must ensure that their return on investment increases or remains constant every year because it is crucial to the company's success and the most frequent profit goal. 
it assesses management's overall success in turning a profit using the resources at hand. Next, a pricing strategy is a plan of action aimed at achieving pricing goals. The pricing strategy for Nestle products is penetration pricing. Penetration pricing is a pricing strategy used by a company to attract more customers away from competitors by offering a cheap price for a new product. For instance, one of Nestle's new products is Maggie's new instant noodle flavor. The tactic for fine-tuning the base price for Nestle products are First is discount which is discounts and allowance tactic are the major price adjustment approach that Nestle is concerned with. Discounts and allowance reduce the price of the base item. The discount might come in the form of a lower price and another benefit. For example, Nestle provides trade discounts to its consumers. Other than that, Nestle products also using quantity discount and seasonal pricing. Next is special pricing tactics. That is the next strategy for fine-tuning Nestle's base price. The first is single price strategy. For example, all Nestle products are sold at the same price everywhere. Nestle also employs an uneven pricing strategy. For example, the price of Maggie is Rs3.90. The consumer will have a favorable opinion of the price. Believing that the goods should be sold at 3 ringgit instead of 4 ringgit, and then people will believe that the price is low and purchase it. First is limitation, limited of data. We are also unable to discover the greatest sources since some websites need to purchase of a plan in order to obtain information. For example, we must to pay monthly plan for get more information, but it didn't stop us from trying to find as many sources as possible. The next limitation is limited time for discussion. Due to ODL, which is online distance learning, that we must face throughout this epidemic COVID-19, we cannot constantly be together as a face-to-face -face group discussion. The next topic is learning experience. We now have a better understanding of Nestle products, including who the company's target market is and the segmentation basis it employs. We do additional investigation to ensure that the information received is correct and relevant to the task. The last one is expected growth of the product in future. Nescafe 3-in-1 instant coffee has slightly less caffeine and slightly more acrylamide than normal coffee. Acrylamide is extremely dangerous since very high amount can cause nerve damage and nervous system disorders. We also believe Nestle will conduct research and development R&D in the future to improve the added value of their product.